Hi everyone, thanks for watching another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to create one channel with IFTTT.com. If you missed the introductory episode, go check it out. It's on my ch in my channel. So, um, people ask me what's a practical use for all those channels. And he here's one that seems to be pretty good for me, especially right now because it's raining outside. So, um, there's a way that you can connect to the weather reports, the weather reports to your phone or your Twitter account. So, let me show you how to get alerts from ifttt.com about the weather. So let's go to ifttt.com and go to tasks. I'm going to show you, I already created one, so I'm going to show you how this works and then I'll walk you through creating your own. So um, right now it says, if tomorrow's for forecast calls for rain, then send me an email to my email address. And here's a description I made. So if it's a set, it says, if it's raining tomorrow, send me an email, weather, and Gmail. So uh, the trigger is the condition of raining. So if it's going to rain, then do this. So if this is the, is the rain, then that. And the action is, send me an email to my email address. I want this to be in the subject line. And then I also wanted to say a few more things about the weather tomorrow. So tomorrow, it says, tomorrow's condition then high temperature, then the low temperature, and then if I wanted to read more about the entire forecast, I also include the website address here. Now, how do we actually do that? Let's go back to the main task and create our own task. In this case, you, cl you click on create, then you say if this, and we're going to look for the weather down at the bottom. So if weather, and then these are your options. You can you can choose a trigger when the temperature drops, when the temperature rises, when the conditions change, and also all of the all, all the same parameters but for tomorrow's forecast. Let's say that you want to know you want to know what the forecast for for tomorrow is. Let's click on tomorrow's forecast calls for and let's say that if tomorrow is going to be snow, if if we're going to have snow, then click on snow and say create trigger. Now it says right here, if tomorrow's forecast calls for snow, then you can do something else. You click on that, and then you have all these channels available. In this case, you can have a phone call, or you can have an SMS, or maybe send it to your Gmail address, or put it in your Google Calendar. Now, all of these are options that are available to you, but you just need to decide which one you prefer. In this case, let's do Twitter for now. So we're going to click on Twitter. So it says, remember now we have, if the forecast is for snow, then I wanted to tweet something. So let's go ahead and say, post a tweet. And say, we're going to put alert, weather alert. Now, in my case, snow would probably never happen because of the area I'm in. So I'm going to make a very... Um, Sensationalist weather alert. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So then, see those little two, the two squiggly marks over here, and then two squiggly marks over here. This actually, you can type it in by hand if you memorize it, or you can just pick from any of these and then click on the insert button. I'll show you. So right now it says weather alert. Unbelievable. Tomorrow is going to snow. This is what is going to report the snow. And then we're just going to say after tomorrow, I also wanted to say the low temperature. If you go to add-ins over here, low temperature is one of the options that you can select. So click on tomorrow's low. And this little box appears, so you just click on that. So notice there's the squiggly lines, the text, and squiggly lines. So that's how you do it. Create action. Then you can give it a description. So we're going to call it alert for Twitter when it's going to snow. And you can then click on create a task or create task. And now you have it set. So if it's going to snow, then I want it to go on Twitter. Now I have, remember I have another one that says if it's going to rain, send me an email. And so you can continue to do that, create any other weather alerts that you want, but that's one use that you can 
um, take advantage of ifttt.com. So, I hope this was useful. More of a practical example. If you missed the introduction, if you missed the introduction, go check it out. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments or on Twitter. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.